the level of hard work Tinubu is putting into being president. APC will present him as candidate. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. According to a report by Panj, a former governor of Lagos State and a national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, as Siwaji Bola Tenembo is to meet with members of the ruling party in the National Assembly next Wednesday over his plan to become the president in the 2023 general elections. Tenembo conveyed the invitation to APC caucus in a letter written to the president of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, and Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabiamila which they read out on the floor at the plenary on Tuesday. The truth is that the quadratic e equation everyone is trying to solve with almighty formula is how do we remove Tunembu and APC will still be a party less of winning elections. Practically impossible. No matter the combinatorial, without Tunembu as APC presidential candidate, APC is a goner. APC will be back to CPC. He even has a plan to join another party. You either win with him or lose without him. APC will stay united and win the 2023 presidential election if they respect grassroots followers. But if they want to manipulate things from Abuja, it will be difficult. Any reasonable political party will always go for the most popular candidate to win the election. Chagaban is the man to beat as far as the 2023 presidency is concerned. The cabal does not want him because they know that he cannot be pushed around. PMB will only do himself and APC good by allowing free and fair primary to select the party's flag bearer or they will face the music. Those who are waiting for the presidential endorsement will be shocked. With the level of hard work BAT is putting into this project, it will be hard for anybody to stand in his way. In Nigeria, you first have regional consensus, then you bring it to a national level and ally. That is how it, is being, it has been and will continue to be if nationality is one of our goals. See what is happening in the South East, it is all born out of a lack of regional consensus that should be accommodated nationally. Tunbo has been able to achieve for South West what his policies could not achieve since independence, including a war. But, not for, but now, for some reason, some people want to rupture his coalition and alliance that has kept Nigeria moving up to this point. There will be consequences. Kept which Nigeria moving. Now, wow. Now, wow. The way some people talk sometimes, eh? Only God now go help. Hmm. APC will die quickly with, with Chinobu candidature. The outcry and rejection of his personality surrounded with his numerous ugly tales will leak APC in carcass. His brother Sibanjo is loved by all and does not carry baggage. Have acquired presidential experience, highly learned, God fearing younger, and he will not call Agburu on the youth. Nobody see light and embrace darkness. Ah, uncle, <laughs> I wish you, oh, I wish everybody would stand with you, but <laughs> okay. Tenbe is a blessing from God to paddle and resetting the kingdom of this country to the promised land. You are spared all his dues. His political sagacity and efficiency is second to none in this present democratic era. By the grace of God, he is our next president of Nigeria. Well, time. <laughs> if you see what God did, they attack this person. Eh? Hey, ah! The Southwest is just wasting her time. President is not coming from the Southwest. Well, me, I will say there is nothing that is impossible in politics, Sha. Don't you, no go hype yourself too much, you. Oh, no be even hyping. No go uh, uh, too put mind because you can be disappointed. You can be disappointed. Oh, if you've not heard, oh, FFK that was a, a member of those, a member of the committee that was going to be, I think, was the publicity chairman. He has been removed. As in, he was not removed and replaced. He was removed. Pata, pata, pata. From those planning the convention. Like, pata, pata, ne. Hey, hey. So, the same way, nothing is not possible. They say impossible is nothing. Impossible is nothing. Okay. The writer of this writer should stop playing selfish interest politics under the pretend of being a writer. Would there be no Nigeria if Tenembo is out of a 23 presidential race? Some people think this way, and this is annoying. This is annoying to say one man will hold Nigeria to ransom. Like, I don't, who are you now? Are you God? Now, wow. Are you God? 
is this one man better than one million people or is he um is it more valuable than one million people let me put it is his life more valuable uncle there are things see while i'm going to say yes the people who support him, but there are people also who do not support him for their own reasons ah okay you people should start deceiving the public of your personal gain and and uh and that which are going to derive from Tunumbu when it ascends power. Again, stop comparing Tunumbu with Awolowo for God's sake. It's like comparing disease and death. Hey, hey. The legacy that Awolowo left behind, especially in Southwest, can never be matched by anyone until Jesus Christ will come back. <laughs> Many people are there that do not know Tunumbu, but nobody that do not feel the impact of Awolowo in Southwest and will be felt forever. Look, many things on ground to be mentioned, but we will soon get there. Claiming that Tunubu trains some people, where is the training school he sent them to? It's because the people he claimed he trained are disciplined. The moment he knows that he can no more cage you, he becomes your enemy. Thank you for saying this, sir. God will bless you. God will bless you very, very well. He helps those who help him. That is it. If you are willing to be a dog that lick the crumbs of politicians, not just Tunumbu, that is what you will be. They are not going to do things for you. They will do things for you so that tomorrow they can call on you and you must not fail them. Take a very good case of okay, MC Olomo. He's been, you know what? He's been promoted by the day. Why? Because he is a very strong supporter. He's like, um, let them call somebody, ah, your right hand man on your backbone when it comes to things being done in legal states. Uh -uh. We all know now. Another opposite example is Ambode who fell out with Tunumbu. What happened? He made sure that his political relevance is crap. God will bless you, sir. Some people don't even know. He's a good man. He helps people. Uncle is helping people that will help him. Finish. He's building allies. He's building an army of, if you help me, I help you. If you don't, if I help you and tomorrow you are feeling, uh, you, you are feeling entitled, you are, you are, you are saying, ah, uh, sir, thank you that you helped me, but this I cannot do it. Too. He will remove you. Ah, he will remove you. Okay, thank you. Help me tell them, so. Hmm. He becomes your enemy. Is, the, is that a political or dictatorship? Help me and ask them. Or collecting multiple interests or money given to people to contest elections is, is politics or slavery. So stop deceiving people for God's sake. Oh God, this thing you said is a bitter truth. It's a bitter truth. It's the bitter truth and I know some people will not be able to swallow it. <laughs> okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.